We all know that I am a huge racist. The problem with being a racist is sometimes you don't know what race you are exactly and you don't know which race to be racist to. And today we will solve that problem by reviewing my DNA test that I sent in two weeks ago. Got this package that had a little vial in it and they said, send us your spit and we can tell you what your ancestry results are. Your DNA, health problems, your traits, where your parents are from, et cetera, et cetera. And I thought to myself, boy, that is exactly what a racist need. Cause my biggest problem is worrying that I'm racist against my own race. This video is going to get demonetized. I need a different intro. <laughs> Just say how you're not a huge racist. Perfect. As we all know, I am not a racist. And the best way to be not a racist is to know what race you are so that you aren't offending the races that aren't your race. I believe that is how racism works. You are allowed to be racist against your own race because no one will call you out on it. At least that's what social media has taught me. You can make a super stereotypical accent or impression and jokes about your own race and no one will say shit. but you can't say that about other races. So to avoid being a racist today, I learned what race I am by doing a DNA test. Yeah, two weeks ago, did a DNA spit test. They required a lot of spit. The last time I spat that much was my ex-girlfriend who had a shame kink. But yeah, I spat a lot, sent it in. Apparently they have um, centrifugal spinning test. So that's disgusting. Well, I mean, it's not my kink, it's your mother's. The product slash website I'm using is 23andMe. I think it's one of the more popular mainstream ones. And honestly, what I should have done was um, five different websites to see if there's any uh, discrepancies, but I was too lazy to do that. How do they get your background info from your spit? Well, you see, your spit has this thing called DNA, which is how the police catches people when someone commits a crime and run away. That's why they collect so much semen in those crime scene shows. You think people want to touch semen they don't want to touch semen but semen has a lot of dna it's the same idea with spit and dna can be traced to the individual so i gave them my spit and after two weeks the results are in and i will be reviewing it with you guys are you excited or nervous uh i'm nervous that's just gonna be all asian si chai that's my chinese name move on don't make fun of me your dna suggests your ancestry is 93.7 percent chinese with ties to three other populations Oh, wait, so now if people ask me if I'm Chinese or Taiwanese, do I just say Chinese now? But that means I have 6.3% of foreign blood in me. That's what I'm curious about. I'm not a pure blood Chinese. That means I can never be a Chinese president. Not because of my blood, but because I'm from Taiwan and I don't think that will ever happen. All right, let's view the report. You have a 99.8% East Asian and indigenous American. So you are 93.7% Chinese, 0.4% Filipino, and 5.7% Korean? No! I mean, awesome. <laughs> That's a joke. I love all Asian races. Wait, th this means I can make Korean jokes now. Because every time I make Korean jokes, Lily will always yell at me. I can be like, yo, bro, I'm 5.7% Korean. Topoki, Bulgogi. 0.4% Filipino. So that means I can Pinoy bait and people can't call me out. I love Filipinos, by the way. My best friend, I've said this before. I have a best friend from uh, elementary school. He was Filipino, you know. I've been representing the Pinoy since 19... 98. I I love the Filipinos. Salamat and um, Mahakital. Yeah. You know, I always knew Michael and I had a lot in common. Our intelligence, our humor. And it makes sense because we're both of the same race. But what's this? We detected traces of the following populations in your DNA. Central Asian. I got 0.2% trace DNA from Kazakhstan? From Genghis Khan? Oh, that would make sense. I mean, I am from China, so... Genghis Khan probably banged my great 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 grandmother. Okay, is there more breakdown in the Chinese portion? 
We found the strongest evidence of your ancestry in the following 10 regions. Shang Dong? Who is Shang and why am I from his dong? Shang Dong? Wait a second. What about... What about... Wait, it's all Chinese. Wait. I don't... Wait. I don't have a single drop of Taiwanese blood? According to the DNA, I am most likely from Shang Dong, Guangdong, Shanghai. I'm going to use the Chinese pronunciation. Shandong, Guangdong. Shanghai, Zhejiang, Jiangsu, Henan, Fujian, Sichuan, Liaoning, Hunan. Oh, so what do I say if someone asks if I'm from Taiwan? I am from Taiwan, right? This video is gonna get super demonetized. If not for the racism, then definitely for talking about China and Taiwan political relationships for the last 10 minutes. Ahem. <clears> hmm. <throat> Explore your Korean heritage. Picture of fucking kimchi. <laughs> I mean, they ain't wrong. And it's okay for me to laugh because I'm 5.7 Korean. Well, here's the thing about my family. My mom was born in Korea. But just because she was born in Korea shouldn't introduce Korean blood. So the Korean blood was introduced earlier. And how do we know if this is North Korea or South Korea? Is that why I became a dictator in our Minecraft server? Because it was in my blood. How did I get 5.7% Korean blood? Is it because when my mom was growing up in Korea, she ate a lot of kimchi? <laughs> it's okay, I'm 5.7% Korean. I can make these jokes. Real talk, what most likely happened was um, my grandma from my mother's side, they were living in the part of China that had a lot of Korean immigrants, which is on the eastern coast. But then they went back to Korea and that's why my mother was born in Korea. The reason why they went back to Korea is because um, I'm not going to name any countries, but uh, a certain country decided to to invade China and uh, did some really not cool things in China while they were there. My grandmother was in that region, so they had to escape. My uncle was a child and he was escaping with uh, my grandma and a bomb went off very close to him and it deafened him in one year, uh, but he made it to Korea. And one thing I know about my grandmother is that her feet was bounded by this invasion force. It was the Japanese, but you know, her feet was bounded. So most feet are like flat like this, but her feet was like this because um, when she was younger, she was under occupation and her feet had to be bound. Even after they unbound it, it stayed like this because it kind of grew up like that. I'm sorry that happened to us. Well, don't be sorry to me, my feet's fine. So yeah, I think that's where the 5.7 uh, Korean blood came from. Most likely someone in Korea immigrated to China, met my great grandfather or great grandmother. They lived in an area of China that had a lot of Koreans and a lot of Chinese. And then they ended up going back to Korea where they gave birth to my mother. Bada boom. It is not because my mom ate a lot of kimchi growing up. So my mother went to Taiwan, met my father and had babies, had two child and then had an accident that's why I'm here. But it was a good accident because they would not have gifted the world the treasure that is this guy's toast. Is there any other thing to review? Explore your Filipino heritage. Well, you know, what can I say about my Filipino heritage? Um, I'm short. That's all I got. Maybe that's why me and Ray get along, because we're both Filipino brothers and sisters. Let me see if there's other reports. Neanderthal ancestry. You have more Neanderthal DNA than 97% of the other customers? Huh? Wait, I... <laughs> so, what? Are they calling me a caveman monkey? Neanderthals were prehistoric humans who interbred with modern humans before disappearing 40,000 years ago. We have found less than 2% of your DNA containing Neanderthal ancestry. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Onga bunga return to monkey. Huh? Neanderthals were really smart. If they were really smart, how did they become extinct? 
Your Neanderthal DNA may influence your traits. You have a variant associated with being less likely to sneeze with a full stomach. That's my superhuman trait. I'm less likely to sneeze when I full. Were Neanderthals intelligent? They tend to have slightly larger brains than modern humans. Oh my god, that explains everything. That's why I have such a high IQ. Oh my god, it all makes sense now. Unga Bunga Big Brain Caveman Toast. What's maternal haplogroup? You descend from a long line of women that can be traced back to Eastern Africa 150,000 years ago. Wait, does that mean my ancestors are from Africa? Is that how it works? Yeah, why, why are you all saying, oh no? What are you guys all knowing about? What do you think I'm going to do with this knowledge? Everyone's from Africa. Oh, very cool. Damn, I can't wait to you hold this over Lily. Yo. Hi. What up, my sister? How you doing? You know, Lily, I always felt you and I were kind of like family. Is this because you're 5.7% Korean? That is exactly why, you know. Not because of our past experiences or friendships or all the turmoil we've been through together? No, no, no. I, I mean like literal family. We're probably distantly related. Lily, you there? Yeah. So, uh, uh, uh... What's, what's your favorite thing about being Korean? I never really thought about that. I'm new to this being Korean thing, so I'm gonna need some guidance. Uh, what do Koreans like to do? I, I, I'm not sure. I don't really make decisions based on if I'm Korean or not, you know? Well, I want to explore my Korean side and you know, you're like one of the few Koreans I know. Okay, um, well, uh, do you like kimchi? <laughs> That's kind of offensive, actually. Why is it offensive? Kimchi is really important. I always have a jar of good kimchi in my fridge. I like to think the Korean culture is more than just eating kimchi. You, oh, it's... You've offended me. As Korean, I'm telling you, I'm not okay with that. You're only allowed to be 5.7% offended. But, um, kimchi is good. It has to be, like, slightly fermented, though. That's the good stuff. And if it gets too fermented, you can use the leftovers to make kimchi jjigae or kimchi bokumba. You're saying the word kimchi a lot. Okay, um, do you like shin ramen? Oh, what about soju? You like K-pop? Do you have a rice cooker that talks to you? Um... I see now I need to get my Korean learning from someone else more in I'm... touch. Yeah, I'm not really in touch with my Korean side, sorry. Do you like K-dramas? No, I actually hate K-dramas. How do you say sister in Korean? Uh, depends. So like a younger guy to an older sister is Nuna. Okay. Like younger girl to an older girl sister is Anni. What about an older guy to a younger girl? You don't really have a name for a younger sibling. Chat like it's, it's saying, called... What? Dongseng? Yeah, your Dongseng, but it's like you don't call your younger sister like Dongseng. You know what I mean? What do you call your younger sister? By their names, I guess. <laughs> oh. You only call older sisters and brothers by something. Okay, what do you, so what does a younger sister call the older brother? Oppa. Oppa? Yeah, oppa. Alright, you will be referring to me <laughs> as oppa from now on. I don't think you want that. I really don't think you want that. You will show me honor and respect. I'm five days older than you. Yeah, physically, but mentally, there's a gap. No, there isn't. There actually isn't. I feel like you should show me respect. I'm older than you. You I can call me Nuna if you want. I'm not calling you Nuna. You are you calling can call me, me Nuna. Oppa. I'm not calling you. That's cringe and disgusting. You can call me Nuna. Why is that cringe but me calling you Nuna is not cringe? Because I'm older. I am your superior in every way but age. You will respect my wishes. Why can't I'm I be your superior? taller than you. I'm yeah. of the superior gender. So what? Dictated by society. That's not my own opinion. Let's be Is honest. It? It's kind of a tragedy that society values men over women. And I disagree with that. I am merely a pawn in society's game. So you're a misogynist. No, I'm a realist. But I hope that one day men and women can be seen equal. Well, now's the time to start, right? Fight the system, Toast. Fight the system. Fight the fight the oppressive patriarchy, whatever. I am looking to change the system from the inside. And that's not gonna happen if you don't acknowledge that I am older and you should treat me with more respect. 
you are older physically, according、yes. to the Georgian calendar. Yes. I was in the world five whole days before you were in the world. All right. You know, you're a, you're pretty old. But five days. I guess. I don't talk about that anymore. Is Ajuma okay then? Shut the fuck up! Oh my god. I'm showing you respect for your age. Ajuma is not respect. No. You're just calling me old. What if I, I called you Ajoshi or Harabaji? I don't know what that means. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. You're the you're the older one. You you you're the you are the older one. So you agree to call me Oppa? That's really cringe, bro. So、uh, not only am I 5.7% Korean, I got another surprise for you. Oh, okay. I am also 0.4% Filipino. You're Pinoy baiting. <laughs> I'm not Pinoy baiting. I actually don't appreciate all the times you Pinoy baited because you're not Filipino and you. How did、that. I Pinoy bait? Name one instance where I Pinoy baited. You play neon and Valorant, and you always say salamat and mahal kita. But Michael's Filipino. Yeah, he's Filipino. You're not Filipino. But I know someone who's Filipino. Are you gonna pull that card? That I、no. have a best friend who's、uh, no. of a different race card. No. So I would like you to apologize to me for all the times you Pinoy baited. Hello. Hi, Albert. Hello, Albert. Oh, sorry. I thought it was at eight, so like I'm still like ten more minutes away from finishing my game.、No、all right,、problem. that's okay. You can. Michael's showering. Yeah, yeah, take your time. Is one mug good on Alistair?、Nah. Albert, please. We're having a very serious conversation. <laughs> anyway, not, Lily Pichu,、not. please apologize right, for、back. offending my culture. I will apologize point four percent. All right, go ahead. I'm sorry for Pinoy baiting 0.4 percent. And I will give you forgiveness 0.4 percent. Lily, do you do a good toad? Can I do a good toad? Yes, I can. And a Yoshi and a Kirby. Oh, give me a voice line of Kirby welcoming the player to Mario Party. Hi. Oh, that was pretty good. Okay, give me a sound effect of Kirby sucking Donkey Kong. <laughs> All right, while they do that, I'm gonna explore some traits. From my DNA test, your genetics predict that you have a 74% chance of having little or no back hair. That is true. I have no back hair. Your genetics predict you have a 78% chance of not having a bald spot. That is true. I do not have a bald spot. 42% chance of dimple. Like a tiny one? You have an eighty-three percent chance of not having a cleft chin. No, I don't have to chat chin. <laughs> Genetics sucks. Eye color: seventy-five percent chance of having dark brown eyes, eleven percent chance of having light brown eyes, nine percent chance of having dark hazel eyes, four percent chance of light hazel eye, one percent chance of green eyes. The seventy-five percent was correct. Eighty percent chance of not experiencing hair loss or hair thinning. Sheesh. Seventy-four percent chance of your ring finger being longer than your index finger. They are pretty much the same length. Index ring. Toe length. Fifty-one percent chance to have a longer second toe. The fifty-one percent is correct. There you have it, chat. This guy's toes is ninety-four percent Chinese. Five percent Korean and half a percent Filipino. I mean, that's that's cooler than being a hundred percent Chinese, and it means I get to、uh, make Korean jokes and Filipino jokes now and not get canceled. So that's really good to know. So thank you, Shishie, Kamsa Hamida, and Salamat for watching. Michael, I have great news. What's up? No, stop. I am zero four point four percent Filipino, according to your DNA. Congratulations! You just got your P card. You're allowed to <laughs> Pinoy bait as、I、much as you like. I can Pinoy bait now. Oh, wait, oh, Ray, did、with? I did I tell you that I'm a zero point four percent Filipino? Yeah, it means we're blood, bruh. Hear that, Lily?、Yes, All、sir. the times you Pinoy baited in front of me, Lily, I'll let it go. Are you French? Is that why you play chamber? Did your twenty three and me have any French? French But I never pretended to say French words, man. What? You, I didn't pretend. With all your mahal kitals and salamat. Mahal kita means I love you. Michael, back me up here. Back me up. I actually don't know where to go on this. Are this you serious? <laughs>
Salamat. Salamat. Uh, holy oh my God, God, my brother in. <laughs> oh, well, because normally I would be on your side. Normally I would be on your side, but I just found out that Tos is a bit Filipino in him. So it's like. Yeah, it's but like, okay, who's my. Fil you're, he's like 0.4%, but I'm dating someone who's 50%. Does that give you the right? <laughs> yeah, Match my path down. should be bigger than yours. Oh, the pass. I didn't know the passes got bigger and smaller. <laughs> I always knew we were good friends. I, it this makes explains sense now. Everything. It explains everything. <laughs>